everybody. Emma University, what's happening? It's your boy Ray Nasty, Elite Tribe Radio. You know how we do it. Got a very special guest in the building right now. Yeah. Chanel from YMCMB. What's happening, Chanel? What's up? What's up? What's up? Chilling. Appreciate you coming through. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, definitely. You know, we're about to get into um, your new EP. We're going to do a listening uh, session and everything. But first, I th figured we start off with some questions. All right. All right, so just, you know, in case anyone doesn't know, who is Chanel? Like, well, give us a little background, you know, where you come from. Well, I am the YMCMB's princess, the vocalist, the artistic director, the okay. backbone. Yeah, a lot of behind the scenes, <laughs> yeah. So you grew up in, um, you grew up in Massachusetts, but you've been in Atlanta for a long time, right? Yes, I, I came here for high school, went to Tri-City, shout out to Tri-City. Okay, um, East Point. <laughs> And, you know, I just started doing music. Um, Tri-Cities is a, a performing arts school. Yeah. So I started, like, you know, training in musical theater and dance and, and singing there, and I just took it to a professional level. Right. And, um, you know, in case people don't know, your sister is uh, Dee Woods from Danny Kane. Yes. So what was that like? You guys have always been destined for music, entertainment, greatness, or how did you guys, how did that come about, you know? Um, like you two yeah. being, you know, both so talented. Just from young, my mother put us in dance classes and we just stuck with it um, and transformed into like musical theater and then somehow we both got signed. <laughs> it just happened like that. And you know, it's, it's good because she supports me and you know, helps me because she sold two platinum albums so she's right. constantly in the studio with me just coaching me through some things and I help her because now she's working on her solo project. Right. So I'm, I'm showing her how it is to be a solo artist. So is it like teamwork, or is there a little bit of a sibling rivalry going on? I there? mean, the sister yeah. sister rivalry, but not not nothing where we hate each other. But yeah. you know, it's that <laughs> it's that motivation that you get right in right at home. Right, right. So um, let's talk about like um, your just your whole journey as far as as a lot of, a lot of people don't know. You know, you've been in the game a while as a as a dancer, as a songwriter. I know you yes. have a close relationship with um, Neo. Yes, actually, Neo was um, the first place I got to do my music professionally. I was dancing for a bunch of different artists and um, on the road with Neo I had my Pro Tools set up in a hotel I was cutting records and playing up for people and I met Wayne on that on that yeah. tour too because he was actually the opening act okay and you know I was just passing my music around and Neo really lo loved my writing so I did a lot of writing with him I uh, worked with producers like Bangladesh, Polo um, and a lot of A-Town yeah, yeah. people and then um, Wayne was like, let's take it to the next level. If you want to do this as an artist, I'm creating this young money, and right. I want you to be a part of it. So this was like what, like 08 or something? Um, right. yeah, yeah, pretty much. And um, and what first, was that like, like that first experience meeting Wayne? Like how did it come about, you know? Um, on a video, I was video. I was called in to help him choreograph a video, and he he remembered all the stuff that I used to play for him on the tour, and he was just like. You still doing the music? Right. I was like, yeah, you know, but this right now is paying the bills. Yeah. Um, but it was cool. Like he's he's a very humble, nice person. So he didn't make it. He wasn't like one of those artists that come in and they're like, you cannot look at me in my face. Don't look at me. He's not like that. So <laughs> and you guys are still pretty close and everything. Yeah, very yeah. very. I um came in helping him create the uh, Rebirth album, The Rock. Mm -hmm. I know you were on the. Album. Album. Prom Queen song, right? You're yeah, I wrote that. that. Right, you wrote that the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, so that was a dick for me. Like, so people are wondering, like, where's, where's Wayne getting this rock side from? That's you, right there. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. you, right there. He he's I know he's got it Yeah. Um, but he wasn't able to really express it, and and that, and he got the opportunity to do it um, after he did such a good job on the Carter Three. So, um, yeah, I came in writing. Um, I choreographed his shows. Uh, Shows that, that comes here, the yeah. American America's Most Wanted tour. I'm the artistic director, so I do all the okay. choreography and picking the dancers, the lights, and the video stuff. So now it's time for me to step up out the background and really hone in on my project, and that's what this 2013 is for me. So, all right, yeah, I'm just gonna ask you. That's you know, a journey, boy. Yeah, yeah, because like <laughs> as somebody who um you know, written songs for people, you dance to people's songs, like you said, you do all sort of behind the scenes stuff, choreographing um, shows. Is it more, is it come to a point where you get like frustrated, like where's my shot, or do you, you get a lot of gratification out no, of doing that type I, of stuff? I kind of, they kind of told me. 
Yeah. It's time for you to put it It's out. time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, really? Okay, okay. Because it's, I mean, one for me doesn't live without the next. Like, I do all things and they all feed each other for me. So, to sometimes for me, sit in the studio every day and just record, I just be like, yeah. Where's the dance floor? Right. <laughs> just need a little diversity, mix it up a little yes. bit. Yes. But I mean, it's I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm excited for people to hear what I do because I mean I get so many people on Twitter like, you know, when is your stuff coming out? Yeah. What are you, I mean, what, what are, you, are you doing rock? Are you doing hip hop? Are you doing R and B? And so I'm excited for people to, you know, finally get what I do. I mean, and the demand is there, so that's what's up. Right. Right. So, I mean, you've been on, um, you know, you were on the We Are Young Money compilation CD. You've been on uh, a few of Wayne's songs and written for a bunch of artists. And then I saw last year, I mean, last year you had that hit, uh, So was it So Good? So Good. Featuring Wayne and Drake. Mm -hmm. And I saw the video for that, and that was cool because, you know, it was the uh, drive-in movie theater. Yes. And then all of a sudden, Chanel pops out of the back seat. Wayne's, like, unveiling look, the Look, if y'all haven't been to the drive-in movie theater off Moreland, that's why I got Oh, you got to go check that out. <laughs> Starlight. <laughs> great place for bring a girl right yeah. there. Uh, check me out. That's where you got it from? Because that's yeah. what I thought about right when I saw it. Because yeah. we used to hide in the trunk, so we wouldn't all have to play <laughs> oh, to God. get in. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I did the whole popping out the trunk thing. That was cool. <laughs> so I thought that was cool. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So what about like, cause you know, those are two heavy hitters right there. Like Wayne and Drake, like, were you um, happy with what that record did? Or, like what was the aim like when you guys were putting that together? Um, yeah, I was, I, I kind of felt like, honestly it was a song I was writing for somebody else. Okay. And um, Wayne just really loved it. He was like, look, me and Drake gonna get on it. You gonna make that your first single. Yeah. And, um, I mean, it's not a bad way to be introduced to no, the world. No, it's not, it's yeah. not. But you know, at the same time, like the, they're like brothers to me. They're like re they're really like family, and you know sometimes I just want to jump out there and do me yeah. by myself, okay. <laughs> you know. But you know they they support me, and that's what this 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 new body of music that we're gonna hear, I guess, later today. Yeah, we're about to get um, to. Is more of just me stepping out outside. It's like Janet Jackson when she stepped outside of her brothers, like uh -huh. the Control album. She was like, it's my time to shine. Right. So. That's, so that's yeah, so like, what can we expect on this? Um, what you say? It's an EP you're working on right now. It is an EP. I'm gonna give people a taste of some of the some the sound of what the album is going to sound like. So it's like a four or five song. Okay. I decided if I'm gonna put four or five on there, but. And like, you have a release date or anything yet? Or is it all still under construction? I'll get back to you. Uh, <laughs> release date. There is uh, one. I think it's like. May 15th, I think. May 15th, that's what we're saying. Okay. Elite Tribe Radio is exclusive. <laughs> May 15th. <laughs> Until we hear otherwise. Um, but that's what's up. So, like, are you um, you really viewing this as an opportunity to show people how you stand on your own? Or are you going to, um, you know, rely on a lot of your relationships to get features and stuff? Um, obviously, I've never been that type of person yeah. to rely on other people and other people's ideas. So, I, I do, I want people to get to know me, what I like, what I sound like. Right. Um, and... There will be some features on there, um, but I think my second album is where I want to do a lot more, you know, doing stuff with right, like, the homies. Right, okay. And um, as far as like, you know, we hear a lot of YMCMB, they got like a hundred artists signed and everybody's getting picked up and everything. What is like, um, at least for you, because you've been with them a while, what's the whole creative control? Like, you have a lot of control of your own project or you got people Definitely. working? Definitely. It's yeah. crazy. It's a different way that, that Wayne makes his decision to sign people. It's not like you get signed to a label and then you get a whole company that creates who you are. Right. Like Wayne signs talent, people that he likes, people that write their own stuff, people that create their own vision. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a gift because you get to be in control, but it's there's also that either you gonna sink or swim. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all on you. So right. you can't turn around and say, um blame it on the label or right. something. No, yeah, it's on you. Okay. And um so you got that coming up. Like what other stuff you've been working on besides the I mean, you got anything else you want us to keep a lookout for besides the E P? Well I'm doing this um cool little thing for the summertime. It's called Throwback Thursday. So every Thursday I do a uh cover song of the like, okay. nineties song that I used to like. That is dope. No one's doing that. So, um, she can look at, look at